October fourth, October fourteenth, and uh, woke up to some very sad news. Uh, uh, a good mate and longtime friend who I've known since 1997, uh, Stephen Rowe, passed away, and genuinely, uh, I'm shocked. Uh, saw Stephen last in 2019 at Sydney, and um, he seemed in good health then. And unfortunately, I don't know. He's a year older than me. I just very, very sad. Um, nothing but the best to his wife and his boys because uh, they're all great people and yeah not a good way to start the day but life happens and so we make the most of it and wish the best to those that that need it and yeah i'm gonna work from farm today and um got some busy work i do want to train some but we'll see what happens I'm gonna knock some cobwebs off. Got to had to do all the reports and crap that I did for all the time out of the office I spent the past couple of days. Mm -hmm. yep, still ugly. Anyway, so start out with some bingle sucking and then move on. From this past weekend at Johnny, I borrowed this uh, Hunter Smitley saw. It's a KBT that runs pretty well. Took a lot of strokes to cut that log, um, straight up. So I was just a little bit displeased with that. And so I uh, got one more single left this year and I'm gonna put some effort into it. I'm gonna take a decent saw here once I get this log finished uh, and uh, test it for Scooter Coger. It's one he wants me to make a few cuts with to see how, if it's cutting or not. Uh, so we'll find out. I noticed from watching the video at Johnny was that I was letting the saw creep up kind of above armpit height which is out of my power zone particularly given that I'm a short fatty um, and so I'm going to get it down I'm going to get over it and going to get into it um, I'm going to see if I can stay into it I was, would, honestly straight up watching Mark Buckwin make that 11 stroke cut in 9.8 seconds I mean he was over top of that saw and he's a strong human being I mean he's like Bradshaw level strong um, you know, even though he doesn't lift or nothing like that, he's just natural. But uh, he was over the saw, he, and he's he made he cut away. This is a saw of Scooter Cogers, um, and it's a finnegar. Uh, it's a thinner plate. Uh, it's a three cutter. It's a light. It's very, very light. Uh, I've got a, a seven, 17 inch log up right now, and I'm just going to stroke it and just see how it feels. That's not bad. Um, so this time I'm gonna try and go a little faster and stay over the saw like I was in the last cut with the doll training saw and the uh, doll tailor. Well, doll tailor and 21 and 22 inch long. I got hosed by the wood gods at um, Johnny Appleseed in the underhand. That log I drew was crap, but so be it. It was dry, and I'm old. So, anyway, 
I am stuck between styles right now. And my styles that I'm conflicted with is trying to hit with power, P-O-W-A, not P-O-W-E-R, because I don't have it anymore. But standing up and hitting the log or going fast. And so I got a Carolina Bluebell up and never cut this crap. I want to use one of my hardwood trainers because I understand it's a hardwood. So uh, yeah, here we go. Just like my underhands at Johnny and for most of the season, there's no sense of urgency there. It's weird because I have spent my, well, when I would cut well when I was younger, I had to dial my chaos back. I had to sit there and try not to hit hard, try not to hit fast. Now that I'm old and I've been chopping that way for a long time, I need chaos. I need to bring the back. And it's real hard because I'm in a situation in life where everything is pretty good, you know? Financially, good. Kids are grown. So, where am I going to find it? Axe is not agreeing with the log, so it's grabbing it in the season order. I think it's a little bit dry because they've been here for over a year, but they've been a bag. So, anyway, I got two more of them here to cut. <sighs> Trying to release chaos is kind of shitty when you can't freaking bounce and move the axe. Just, just can't. But I'm gonna try it right here. Take a little bit off the hit and just see if I can do it. Tulip poplar up here. A little stiff in the back today, so don't know how hard I'm going to go on this. I may just put in some nice solid hits and then just, you know, not go too crazy. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way I'm cutting blocks right now. So this is more just to work on that down hit that I want.
10 inch log up on top and I am really not interested in cutting this, but I'm gonna cut it because I need to. Uh, even though I should have tightened down my tree at Johnny this past weekend, I had a beautiful bottom board hole and I had the perfect place to put the top board hole. And so I gotta, I gotta finish the season out on a positive note at Devil's Backbone in the tree. There's no reason why I can't. So gotta work. up one of my picks so this thing's as thick as a freaking yeah pick and um, see if I can get some more aggressiveness in my swing Oh, fuck. 